This lesson will cover the following topics. Electronic stability program. Understeer control. Engine torque regulation. Traction control. The electronic stability program is an additional function of the ABS system. The electronic stability program allows the vehicle's path to be controlled during a rapid maneuver to avoid an obstacle. During an avoidance maneuver, the vehicle will react in accordance with the vehicle conditions and the conditions of the road surface by understeering or oversteering. The system reacts independently of the driver's action by performing corrective actions on the brakes and the engine. Understeer is characterized by the loss of front axle grip. The vehicle departs from its path and moves towards the outside of the corner despite full steering lock being applied. Understeer is often caused by the vehicle traveling too fast. Oversteer is characterized by the loss of rear axle grip. Oversteer may be caused when the accelerator pedal is released suddenly when cornering. The vehicle then departs from its path and moves towards the inside of the corner. In extreme cases, this may be revealed by the vehicle spinning. The electronic stability program comprises the elements that are common to the ABS system. This system comprises the following additional elements. A steering wheel angle sensor. A combination of a transverse accelerometer and a yaw speed sensor. Solenoid valves that are specific to the function and a deactivation switch located on the dashboard. The steering wheel angle sensor measures the angle and turning direction of the steering wheel. This information determines the driver's intended action and the direction of travel required. The speed of rotation of the steering wheel indicates to the computer whether this relates to an emergency maneuver or a driving maneuver. This sensor also detects the number of turns. The combined sensor provides the following information, the transverse acceleration and the yaw speed. This information allows the computer to determine the vehicle's true direction of travel. The sensor is located near the vehicle's center of gravity, usually underneath the center console. The transverse acceleration sensor sends an electrical signal under the action of a transverse force. The computer determines the transverse acceleration by interpreting the change in the electrical signal from the sensor. The yaw sensor measures the vehicle's speed of rotation around its own axis. The sensor sends an electrical signal to the computer in relation to the yaw produced by the vehicle. Now let's take a look at the electrical operation of the electronic stability program. To regulate, the program must always be aware of the path desired by the driver and the vehicle's true path. The computer receives information relating to the steering wheel angle, the yaw speed, and the transverse acceleration. During regulation, the system uses the information from the brake pressure sensor. Let's take a closer look at the hydraulic operation of the system. Depending on the situation, the brakes may be applied without the intervention of the driver. The computer closes the isolation solenoid and opens the inlet solenoid. The pump is activated and applies a brake pressure to the wheel concerned. If the wheel reaches the slip point, the inlet solenoid closes and the outlet solenoid opens. The computer controls the wheel regulation as many times as it judges necessary. In this section, we covered the following points. The electronic stability program allows the vehicle's path to be controlled during a rapid maneuver to avoid an obstacle. Understeer is characterized by the loss of front axle grip and oversteer is characterized by the loss of rear axle grip. 
the electronic stability program comprises some specific sensors and solenoids. The steering wheel angle sensor measures the steering wheel turning angle. The combined sensor provides the following information, the transverse acceleration and the yaw speed. The transverse acceleration sensor sends an electrical signal under the action of a transverse force. The yaw sensor measures the vehicle's speed of rotation around its own axis. To regulate, the program must always be aware of the path desired by the driver and the vehicle's true path. The brakes may be applied without any intervention from the driver. Understeer control is an additional function of the electronic stability program. This function intervenes during loss of control of the vehicle during understeer. The correction acts on the two wheels on the inside of the corner, or on the front wheels with a reduction in the engine torque. The understeer control system is based on the reduction of the vehicle speed. The computer takes account of the information from the sensors to calculate the path followed by the vehicle and the path desired by the driver. The correction is made by the following actions. Braking of two or four wheels at different pressures. And the reduction in the engine torque. Braking of more than one wheel reduces the speed of the vehicle whilst retaining improved stability. The reduction in the engine torque facilitates the weight transfer and therefore the re-establishment of front axle grip. The deceleration obtained during regulation causes the stop lights to come on. The engine torque regulation system intervenes in the event of a sudden release of the accelerator on road surfaces with a low level of grip. The engine braking that occurs when the throttle is released becomes too strong compared to the amount of grip available. The engine torque regulation system limits this phenomenon by increasing the engine torque. At the point when the accelerator is released, the drive wheels suddenly reduce speed under the action of the engine brake. This engine brake has a tendency to lock the wheels, making the vehicle slip on the road surface if there is insufficient grip. The speed sensors for the ABS system detect the locking of the wheels. A program built into the ABS computer sends a command to the injection computer to increase the engine torque. The command is maintained until the wheels stop slipping. The traction control system is an additional function of the electronic stability program. The objective of the traction control system is to prevent the wheels from slipping when pulling away or when accelerating. Depending on the conditions of grip, the traction control system intervenes to reduce engine torque and to apply braking to the wheel that is slipping. To carry out this function, the computer uses the information from the wheel speed sensors. The computer controls the activation of the pump and its solenoids for the wheel concerned. The traction control function is operational whatever speed the vehicle is traveling. Symmetrical type slip occurs if the drive wheels are slipping at the same speed on the same type of surface. The computer for the electronic stability program sends a command to the injection computer to reduce the engine torque. The request is maintained until traction is re-established. Asymmetrical type slip occurs if one drive wheel is turning at a different speed to the other wheels on the vehicle. This situation occurs, for example, when one wheel is on tarmac and the other wheel is on ice. The computer for the electronic stability program controls the braking for the wheel that is slipping. The excess torque is transferred, via the differential, to the wheel with the best grip. At the same time, the computer reduces the engine torque if the braking action proves to be insufficient. In this section we covered the following points. The understeer control system acts on the two wheels on the inside of the corner or on the front wheels with a reduction in engine torque. 
The understeer control system is based on the reduction of the vehicle speed. The engine torque regulation system intervenes in the event of a sudden release of the accelerator on road surfaces with a low level of grip. The ABS computer sends a command to the injection computer to increase the engine torque. The objective of the traction control system is to prevent the wheels from slipping when pulling away or when accelerating. Symmetrical type slip occurs if the drive wheels are slipping at the same speed on the same type of surface. Asymmetrical type slip occurs if one drive wheel is turning at a different speed to the other wheels on the vehicle. 